Hello, my name is Mark Redmond and this is my uh, 2020 visionary presentation and today I'd like to focus on the composer and musician Neil Martin from uh, Belfast. <coughs> Neil is a fantastic musician and he's well at home in uh, classical music and traditional music. He's, uh, he plays cello, he plays ill pipes, he plays whistle and um, what really appeals to me about Neil's music is um, how he arranges for ill pipes and orchestra and uh, I first encountered Neil's music in 2011 when I was tasked with performing a piece from his suite uh, for Ilan Pipes composed in 2004 called No Tongue Can Tell and this had been uh, performed and premiered by Lima Flynn in Belfast and he played it later on in the National Concert Hall of Dublin and in advance of um, performing this piece myself I was lucky that I got a recording from Peter Brown who was working in RTE at the time and I listened to that recording for, for days, weeks, months, and it really blew me away. It's fantastic uh, music. Uh, what really appeals to me is Neil's ability to compose a new tune based on the older tunes, um, and it can be played solo in a pub setting like this. Uh, we're coming today from a pub called French's in Gorey in Wexford, which is a hotspot for traditional music over the years. And uh, coincidentally, myself and Neil have met here for drinks in the past to discuss some of his music in advance of other performances. Uh, but back to the piece, anyway, it's, um, it's a jig, a four-part jig called um, um, Sheltering Sound, which is the final movement of the piece I mentioned. And uh, Neil very much had um, Nemo Flynn in mind when he composed this piece, uh, so I hope you enjoy.
Thank you very much. Um, I'm going to continue now with the second movement, uh, which is in that piece, which is a lovely uh, tune called And They Loved. And um, this is based on the love that Neil's uh, grandparents had for each other. And one of the factors uh, which he used in composing this was the, uh, the use of modulation. So he actually composed this uh, piece for a whistle in the key of B, and then later uh, the pipes entered. Um, so I thought I'd play it today and meet in the middle ground and not be switching between whistles and pipes. So I said I'd play it all on a set of pipes in the key of B. And um, just before I started the last tune, I mentioned that we were here in uh, French's bar in Gorey in Wexford. And I'd very much like to thank um, the owner, Jim French, for allowing us to use it here today. As I say, it's a great setting for traditional music. And I hope to see you all here in the near future again when all this is, uh, when everything gets back to normal. So this is a slow movement called And They Loved.
was uh, and they loved on the B pipes and I'm going to run back and change over onto the D pipes again and uh, <clears throat> I'm going to play a reel this time which is the, the only reel I'll play today and this comes from the first movement of the piece I mentioned earlier on called No Tongue Can Toe and this is a fantastic reel um, that Neil has since given a, a separate name to it which is uh, Hugh Canning's reel and Hugh Canning was uh, Neil's grandfather, um, but he was also the father of the well-known piper and um, writer on, on all topics to do with traditional music, uh, Tomás O'Cannon. And um, this is a lovely tune in, in that first movement, which is otherwise a, a slow melody, but this, is, this reel is lovely. It's in the key of B minor, and it's, it's, uh, it's one of my favorite tunes, actually. And, um, as I say again, when I heard this for the first time, it just it blew me away. Um, so, hope you enjoy. This is Hugh Canning's reel. Um, I'm going to finish off now with a set of jigs um, that Neil composed uh, in 2016. Um, the first one is called Malloy's. The second one is called um, the second one is called Falun's Reel, and then the third one is called Queen of the Skulls, which is uh, what gives it uh, the overall title of this piece when it's uh, performed in an orchestra. And uh, Neil uh, performed this in 2016 with the Ulster Orchestra and I was delighted to play it uh, in 2017 with the Wexford Youth Orchestra at the National Concert Hall in Dublin and at the event they won a, a Special Achievement Award which was, which was very enjoyable. Um, so these are lovely tunes, as I say they work as uh, great solo pieces and fit in uh, fantastically with orchestras as well. Um, so I'd also, before I finish up, like to thank um, uh, Trad Ireland, Trad Erin, and um, Culture Ireland as well, and um, for Jim French to allow me to use this uh, fantastic pub as well. Um, so thank you very much, and I hope you enjoyed. <laughs> 